as you know already, I'm a PM intern um, working on this Azure uh, hybrid and shell um, team. I'm also a student at Columbia where I study computer science. Where I've specifically been looking into the migration experience from group policy to Azure policy. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, now you, I, I just want to make sure that I highlight this. You, you mentioned that you're a PM intern, and so you're going to college. You're yeah. interning here at Microsoft. Yeah. I got to ask, what's one of the most interesting or fun things that you've learned here at Microsoft? Yeah, so I definitely think that um, I had no idea about Azure or about PowerShell coming in, so it was a lot of learning. It's been great. I think one really interesting um, Azure capability that I learned about was Azure Cognitive Services, um, where you can use a lot of their um, pre -learn machine learning capacities and you can apply that for a variety of applications. So it's been great in terms of learning so much. Importantly, you've done some very important and fascinating work around uh, helping a lot of us deal with group policies. Now, to me, um, group policy, group policy objects are something that we've had since Windows mm -hmm. 2000. They've been around forever in Active Directory in both yeah. auditing and, and applying configuration changes and so forth. And one of the biggest challenges we've had is I, 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 I want to move machines into Azure. I want to get some VMs up there. I also mm -hmm. maybe want to use Azure Arc and, and be able to uh, manage machines that are still on premises through Azure but I need mm. to get group policies mm. up there. And I understand that maybe you have a way of helping us with, with migrating those group policies. Yeah, I have, a, I have a way for making the initial conversion for audit only, yeah. So it's audit only right now, but you can That's convert correct. group policies into, what is it, it's an Azure uh, uh, guest configuration policy, or an, uh, I'm, I got the name wrong, what's the... Azure policy guest configuration. But I guess the same thing, just rearranging words. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So I also understand, and this is something that you've done for us that's really cool, is not only are you going to show us this, but you've put this all into a Jupyter Notebook. So you put all of the code in there yeah. as well so that um, we can convey this to everybody and they can actually run your code and things like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the Jupyter Notebook experience? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I love using Jupyter Notebook for Python, um, and it's it's a great way to kind of get your hands on and like play around with code, which I love. And um, I didn't know that they had that supported for DSC or PowerShell until recently, and so it, it's been a great experience putting this together. And hopefully, you guys are able to play around too. That's totally awesome because that's exactly what we want everybody to do is be able to take your code and actually try it out. So let's go ahead and start to dive right in. Now, the first step that you're going to show us is you got some prereqs to get. There's some, you got to have some modules, mm -hmm. stuff like that for, for Azure. Yeah. You may already have that, but so it might be kind of review, but it's still an important step. Then if I, if I remember your notebook correctly, then the next two steps were where the hard work is done and that's where we're going to convert yeah an existing group policy um, to uh, an Azure policy, guest configuration that we can use. And then mm -hmm. the third step is to publish it, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and just to break that down a little bit further, the conversion is going to be really two steps. One is going from, going from the group policy into the DSC, and the other piece is going to be going from the DSC into the Azure policy guest configuration. It sounds exciting. Tell you what, I really want to see how this works. So why don't we go ahead and dive right okay. into your Jupyter Notebook awesome. and let's get started. We're going to be really walking through um, a specific conversion for this example, and that's going to be with the Windows Server 2019 security baseline, um, which is a set of security configuration standards um, that have been set for the Windows um, Server 2019. And the specific scenario that we're looking at is, you know, you have a local GPO and you want to define an equivalent um, custom Azure policy. And so in order to facilitate that migration, um, we're going to be using two modules. We're going to be using um, the baseline management module and the guest configuration module as well. And that's going to take us from GPO to DSC through baseline management and from DSC to Azure policy definition through guest configuration. And we're going to go all the way through publishing that new Azure policy definition, and then looking into that in the portal. And so um, that's basically the walkthrough we have set for today. And you can follow along on the Jupyter Notebook as well. 
So, so yeah, the first steps are just going to be looking into um, a handful of relevant um, Azure modules um, that are going to be related to actually publishing the policy definition. Uh, the guest configuration module, um, which is important um, for going from the DSC to the Azure policy definition. Um, then we're going to download a handful of related uh, DSC modules as well that are going to be helping with the conversion. Um, and the baseline management module, finally, which is going to be working to do the um, GPO to DSC conversion. And um, we're going to do the scope for the current user, and we're going to get them from PS Gallery. Exactly. I'll, I'll run this on, uh, on PowerShell. So as you can see, this will likely take some time um, because it is a large number of modules. Um, but most, most people will have a number of the Azure modules downloaded already. But this is just comprehensive in case someone has basically none of the modules downloaded. So after a couple of minutes, now it's complete. Great. So what's our next step? Awesome. So our next step is for this specific example, we're going to be working with the um, Windows Server 2019 baseline. So we're going to be getting that um, from online. So we're going to be um, invoking a web request, and we're also going to be setting up a, a directory as well, um, where we're going to be uh, placing these files. And this part is really um, part of the this demo that we're doing. And it's, it's in order for us to have um, a specific, have a specific um, GPO to actually work with. So typically you can replicate whatever follows in this process with other GPOs. And, and for this demo, just in case you want to see around and play with a handful of GPOs, um, the server 2019 baselines is a great place to start. Oh, and I noticed um, since we're downloading this zip file, I noticed you've got yeah. it, you've got the uh, PowerShell command to unblock it so that we don't have to unblock all the mm -hmm. individual files later on. So that's really cool. Yeah. So. So you're unblocking, you're expanding it. So now the zip's uh, unzipped and we're able to work with it. Mm -hmm. We're going to go on to our next step, which is we're going to be actually looking in. So we unblocked and expanded. So we want to make sure that, you know, we actually have um, GPOs downloaded. Um, and so part of that download that we just did um, was this map GUIDs to GPO names uh, PowerShell script. And that's going to identify um, the, the GUIDs for the different GPOs within the server 2019 baseline. And that's going to confirm that we, you know, we did that um, download correctly and it's been properly unblocked as well. I love verification steps. So this is a good verification step. Maybe basically taking whatever GUIDs you have as GPOs, mapping them to a name so you can see that they're available. We're gonna run that and great. So we have um, the names for these different um, GUIDs and we have their different uh, values. So we have the name and the GUID for the different GPOs uh, contained within the um, Windows Server 2019 baseline that we just downloaded. So now we're done with kind of the, um, not boring, but the important setup work. Um, <laughs> so we can go into the we can go into the conversion process, which you're probably more a little bit more interested in. The first step is we're going to just be using this convert from GPO function. And this is supported through the baseline management module. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the directory um, for one of those GPOs. Um, and, and this corresponds to the GUID that we already had. That we saw um, from that, that saw map one. command, right? Yeah, exactly. Got it. So this is the value. So we're going to be doing the conversion for a single GPO. And um, we're going to be um, taking that path, and then we're going to be outputting that into DSC. Oh, great. Yeah, and this will create a lot of output. OK, great. So awesome. now we've successfully done the conversion. Awesome. So now that we've converted, um, we're going to be going ahead and just doing a little bit of renaming. Um, of the item itself. Um, we're also going to be renaming this um, from uh, DSC from GPO, which is kind of a generic name um, for this PowerShell script, to uh, Server 2019 Baseline. And um, there is a specific module called uh, PS Desired State Configuration um, from the time that Baseline Management was originally created um, that's now PS DSC Resources. So we're going to be doing both of those replacements. And the final pieces we're going to be um, running that uh, initial script as well. And, and this step can be replaced um, based on whatever you want to name um, your new, uh, gotcha. new script, basically. Gotcha. And, and this piece um, you do need to maintain, yeah. Now that we have the uh, MOP file, we're going to be creating 
a new Azure Policy Guest Configuration Content Package from it. Um, and now this and is where- And we're giving it its name. Yeah, this is where yeah. the rubber kind of meets the road, right? This is when we're gonna make that Azure Policy now um, that we're gonna yeah. eventually publish, right? So if everything's gone exactly. well for us so far, we hope that this part will go well for us. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. So now, now we've gotten kind of the moth files of the DSC conversion, the first conversion's done. Now we're moving into the, the second conversion. Well, looks like we completed awesome. so successfully. Now we, <laughs> yeah, awesome. So now we have the server 2019 baseline zip, which is going to be um, the guest configuration uh, package. And we're going to be using this to publish, basically. Um, so now we are at that publish stage where we're going to be taking this and we're going to be specifically using a publish function um, that we've pre-designed. And this is similar to how you define or publish any um, custom Azure policy definition. Um, and so this is uh, also available in like the Azure Azure docs for, for guest configuration. And just so that everybody knows, this is one of the cool things about a notebook is <clears throat> you can run the notebook um, and run yeah. it actually in PowerShell or you can copy and paste it. You can put it into your own script editor. You can make modifications, and then you can run it just as Arnoff is doing right here. So we just define the publish function. Gotcha. Um, uh, before these next uh, next steps, uh, I specifically have you know a resource group, a storage account, and storage container set up through Azure Portal, um, and that's going to be in order to store um, the temporary uh, guest configuration package. Um, before the creation of a definition, you will need to create a, a zip file that will get stored to like blob storage um, with with storage um, connected to your Azure account. So um, you need to have that ready beforehand. Um, additionally, like a name for the blob storage as well. And here path that we're specifying um, is the path for that guest configuration content package uh, zip file that's local. These parameters, you're gonna wanna enter your own, own values depending on where you wanna store and where you have this um, server 2019 baseline.zip or whatever whatever GPO you've you've converted into. Uh, so now you'd probably like to connect to your Azure account. Um, for this for this specific demo, we've already done the connection behind the scenes. Um, so it just took a brief moment to do that. Um, but you'd like to use the um, AZ uh, uh, connect AZ account function, um, providing your subscription and tenant ID. Um, through PowerShell to connect. The storage information, we have the publish function ready. So now we can go ahead and we have the publish function oh, that we can yeah, actually yeah, run. Yeah. And the reason this is important is um, the context uh, part of the publish function that we just defined is gonna use your Azure storage account. So you're gonna need to make sure that connection is available. Gotcha. So I don't run that. And when this publishes, it's not impacting any of my my VMs that are on Azure. This is just moving it up to Azure no. so that then I could assign it or, or go on from there. Okay, so there's no danger exactly. or risk here. Okay. No, no danger or risk. We're just basically taking the zip file for the guest configuration content package that we created, and we're putting that into blob storage with the associated storage account um, that you just provided. So um, we actually aren't even assigning a policy yet. We're just doing an intermediate step towards defining a policy. Gotcha. We've gotten the URI. So now we can use that URI in order to create um, a new guest configuration policy. And then finally, we're gonna run a, a publish function. And um, these functions are supported uh, through the guest configuration uh, module. So that's why we, that's why we get we to make it. that download initially. Got it, got it, that's great. So we're gonna go ahead, this, awesome. It's a great the new one, and now we're just gonna go ahead and publish this. And so, almost there. Um, awesome. So we're able to successfully um, publish, this is the audit and deny piece of the policy. Uh, so these are two policies and they're put together as one initiative, the server 2019 configuration baseline. And this is again, the name that we decided to give it. Right. Um, so now we can actually go to Azure portal um, and we can go to policy, right? Okay, so this is where we'll actually apply now the policy to mm -hmm. a particular machine VM that we want this to take effect on. Exactly. Okay, great. So we go to pol policy right here. Um, and where we have this is in, 
in definitions, right? So under definitions, you're going to see this oh, new yeah, yeah. Okay, Got initiative it. server 2019 configuration baseline. And so um, this is the deploy. This is the audit um, based on their effect types. And this is what we had just, um, just defined. And so you'll be able to see these definitions now. And so um, going here, we can go ahead and assign this. Um, and so we could assign this to just see our, our primary subscription scope. And um, we can review and create. Awesome. And it'll take a brief moment to assign that. Um, so we can go to home, go to policy, and we can do all. I think we have under assignments, assign initiative. So we can take this and we can apply it to um, a particular, oh, a particular resource, a particular group. group if we want as well. Gotcha. Exactly. So if I have a bunch of VMs in that resource group, would they get this policy? Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So that's how the assignment's working is we're assigning it to a resource group. Whatever's in there, then we'll get it. Yeah, they would so because I, it's being applied across. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I could apply this to a resource group and then I could uh, 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 assign resources in there, like my VMs, and it'd pick mm -hmm. up the policy then. So this is, oh, this is fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. And it's being applied when we assign the initiative, we assigned it to the scope and that um, could be subscription that could include uh, up to resource group. And you can also do uh, exceptions um, uh, in terms of the granularity um, for um, the policy definition assignment. So Arnoff, this is this is this is really interesting, and I want to play with this. And thank you for creating this great Jupyter notebook. I have a question though. What if I'm if I'm trying to do this and I I need more information or I have some questions, want to supply some feedback? Is there a place that we can go? Yeah. So there is one um, the baseline management module, which is supported on GitHub. And if you have problems with that piece of the conversion, you can go there. If you have problems with the um, DSC to the guest configuration policy piece of the problem, um, then there's also that on GitHub as well. So both of those modules are open source and you can provide feedback. And finally, for the overall process, in addition to the Jupyter Notebook, there's a, um, Azure Docs um, that does a how-to walking through this conversion experience as well. Well, Arnoff, I just want to tell you, this was awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate your hard work. And hopefully everybody will get a chance to see this and they'll appreciate the help out too. Migrating GPOs to Azure, this is pretty important stuff. So thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks so much. Pleasure being on here.